time for another installment of Cinemaniacs, Jackie. That's right, and we have our dear friend Nathan McVeigh joining us. Good morning, Good sir. Good morning. All right, and you're wearing uh, some baseball attire, yeah, uh, as I see here. I'm uh, representing home a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, got to shout out, go Royals. They're yeah. my favorite, so, you know, if I get to, get to go on talk TV, talk baseball Okay, movies. so that's what we're talking about, baseball movies. Royals. Yes. And when you're talking baseball movies, Jackie, first one that comes to mind is... Well, many people would say Field of Dreams. Field of I'll dreams. say it right I, now. I have a couple other your around in my favorite head. movie of all times, right? Field of Dreams. For example, it's what we're talking about, of course. You're putting me on the spot, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am putting you on the spot <laughs> because you know something, Nate. No, yeah, no, you build it, they will come. I've heard, and right here in Iowa, apparently. Absolutely. Yeah. See, I'm not an Iowa boy, so when I had to make my list of top five baseball movies, this didn't get listed, and I had the producer calling me. You guys giving me the little eye. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? How can you not mention Field of Dreams? Field of Dreams is a classic. It is here in Iowa. I know it's a staple. It's not my favorite baseball movie. I love the baseball scenes in this movie. When it's just a baseball movie, it's so good. But then it kind of gets off the rails when Kevin Costner goes on that strange journey. And it's Kevin Costner flexing his quote-unquote acting muscles, which is not my favorite. Uh, so yeah, Field of Dreams is a classic. But as the movie aficionado, as you like to call me, it didn't quite make my uh, right. top your five top baseball movies, movies that right. I wanted to talk about. I was going to say, kind of looking at your list here, one of my favorites isn't on here either. So let's, uh, go, let's go Let's go okay. down your list right. to see what so else you have. Perhaps the most famous baseball movie, if you ask me and you kind of check your uh, your countdowns, you, you tend to see Bull Durham at the top. Mm -hmm. And Bull Durham is wonderful because it's not, it shows the not glorious aspects of baseball. It kind of shows the rough minor league uh, aspect of things, of that struggle to kind of find yourself and be the best version of a baseball player you can be, but also the hilarity and comedy of it. It's a hilarious movie and it's still funny some 30 plus years after it's come out. It's, it's one of my favorites. It makes me laugh every single time. It's one of the best and I think superior to Field of Dreams. All right. Good. I'd have to watch it again. It's been a long time since I've Plug that one into the VC <laughs> VCR. That's kind of yeah, 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 yeah. to see it. But it, uh, You might not have seen Bull Durham, but have you seen A League of Their Own? Yo, oh, yes. Of course. See, that is probably my favorite of all of the classics. It is by far outstanding with the amazing cast you know there's so many great people from it from Gina Davis to Rosie O'Donnell to Madonna and then Tom Hanks no one can forget that there's no crying in baseball yeah, that's right yeah it's uh, one of the funniest scenes it the movie's so good it's touching you know you have your sister story the adversity that they face when they have to play each other uh, I still you know get the heartstrings pulled every single time at the end when you're rooting for one thing and the other thing happens you don't really know how to feel uh, it's great and you've seen it so. but also a moment in history that many people kind of forgot happened yeah. and, uh, and we, we like uh, female empowerment stories absolutely here, you know? and that one is a little bit ahead of their time the early 90s and it still has uh, carried on so well I'm over 20 years old almost so it's it's great it's one of my favorites so the the next three are kind of my Nathan's picks they're Nathan's not picks. Bunks at the top of the list of what people think of the best baseball movies but these ones are definitely my favorite so the very first one I want to talk about Let's see what which one would we got to get the thing. Okay, uh, Sandlot. Sandlot is personally my favorite as a childhood film. This one basically uh, was my childhood. I absolutely loved it. It spoke to me in ways that no other film really had. This film came out in '93, which was when I was in my youth. And the best thing about this movie is it's about a kid that goes to a town that uh, he, he's kind of a, a loner. He doesn't really have many friends, and so that's kind of the underlying story about this kid that had to move to a city that he wasn't really familiar with and baseball is really what kind of brings it all together right. and he gets great friends from it and kind of baseball is that Americana thing that really brings everyone together and gets him friends and black eyes uh, so it's hilarious I love it it spawns so many uh, hilarious uh, jokes and t-shirts and you're killing me smalls mm -hmm. you know it is it's a fun just, show yeah no it is definitely my favorite and another classic comedy is a uh, Major League. Major League, no yes. question about it.
about it's that. It's a wild one. thing. Wild thing. Yeah, I absolutely <laughs> love this film. I just love the characters uh, because you, you always have a friend that you can relate to. Uh, mm -hmm. You say, oh, that reminds me of so and so. Oh, that reminds me of so and so. And who's Serrano in your life? Which one is Serrano? Serrano's the guy with the witchcraft with the little the, thing in there. That was, big... was a friend of mine in high school. He was on a football team. <laughs> I yeah. want to meet that yeah, guy. Yeah, he's a really cool guy, too. He, yeah, he was my protector in high school. Yeah. 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 No, th this film is still so funny today. It uh, Big stars in it, maybe ones that have not gone on to the greatest uh, futures. And uh, Charlie Sheen and Wesley Snipes, they kind of ran into it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but Tom Berenger is great. Uh, this movie is still so funny. And this is the best. This is probably the funniest of uh, baseball movies, I think, out there. And then my personal favorite. I watched this one again last night. Oh, you did? Yes, Moneyball. Why do you like Moneyball so much? It is such a good movie. And it basically uses... Uh, the prospect of baseball and kind of the struggle between big markets and small markets is almost like a metaphor on life in terms of maybe you're not given the resources that you need to succeed, but you find a way and you deal with the best. And so Brad Pitt plays Billy Bean. Because it's based off a true story. True story. Every single thing in this is a true story. Um, maybe they stretch a few things out. But Brad Pitt plays Billy Bean, who's the general manager of the Oakland A's. And the Oakland A's have a payroll of an, like, $35 million, and they are competing with the likes of the New York Yankees, who have a payroll in the $140 million, but they're competing. And he's not getting any help from his owners and getting terms of new money and bigger money, and so he has to find a way. And the storyline, it has to do with him to where he was a major league prospect who was supposed to be one of the best players to come out of the draft, and it didn't pan out, so he had to find a new route in life. And very similar to him as a general manager, he gets this opportunity, but he has to find a different route. Out. And it's really touching, and it's re it really uses the stories of the players that he finds. He finds these players that no one want to touch, and they, no one really wants to have on their team, and he finds the best in them, and it helps them come together and go on a historic run during the regular season that doesn't necessarily pin out in the ways of winning a championship, but still right. kind of finding your own way. And, and the chemistry that is created between them, too. For sure, yeah. and, it's, and it's Jonah Hill's first dramatic role. Like oh, he yeah. was known for being super bad and this you know, funny guy, and he's so good. He's very funny in the movie, but in a way, like it shows that he has these really great acting muscles, which he goes on to do in Wolf of Wall Street, and he's really kind of a respected actor, not, not just a funny guy. And Brad Pitt is really good. He, he's one, I think he's the most underrated actor of all time. You do? Seriously? That is my bold statement. Yeah, because when you when you think of Brad Pitt, Jackie, what do you think of Brad Pitt? He's handsome, right? I, I think of waterfalls and... And handsome. And handsome. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, is no one really thinks of like this great actor. Like, it took him a while to get there, though. Mm -hmm. When his, for his early stuff wasn't but, he, but all the movies the park, he does so are good. They're like he's great it's just like it's hard to think of a Brad Pitt movie that was really bad. Like from Fight Club to even Ocean's Eleven. Like Ocean's Twelve is not a good movie, but he's still really good in it. And all of the things that he's done, you just he's always like, oh, Brad Pitt's great. Like no one's like, oh, Brad Pitt was terrible in that movie. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know. I mean, he's he always so performs, good. is what you're saying. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Yep. and he's handsome too. So <laughs> <laughs> he's not relying on that alone. So as, as, as the baseball like season <laughs> kicks off, uh, now we can kick off uh, some classics when it comes to. Uh, to that theme in the movies. I miss The Natural. I love The Natural on this list. Uh, the Natural should have been a, <laughs> a cartoon movie. I remember, what? I know, it's so ridiculous. What? I remember the first time I watched this movie, it's like, it's the best baseball movie, and I watched it, and I'm like, what is happening? Like, trees are exploding, and they're hitting, and the lights, and that's that exploding. That it happens. Does it? Yeah. What baseball games it. are you watching? <laughs> I'm in, from Chicago. I've seen a lot of these games happen. <laughs> <laughs> this field, the outfield, it yeah. had happened. Anyway. I'm, I'm here for controversial stuff. All right, but where can, where can somebody <laughs> go check out these movies? Because you just peaked a lot of interest here. Good, yes. So all of these movies and more are available at Video Warehouse. They're on Franklin. Oh, perfect. Right off of Merle Hay. It's yeah, really this nice. place is amazing. It's the yeah. best. Yeah. yeah. And so every single movie I talked about is there. You go out. And the best thing is all of these segments are going to be on our Facebook Live page. Mm -hmm. So if, if I didn't talk about anyone's, please go there. Please comment. Tell me what were your favorite baseball movies. Yeah, throw in your more. two cents. Exactly. As what movies Nate missed. And then uh, next week, we're talking about the best Stephen King movies. Oh. Okay. So next Monday. So people going to go ahead, maybe Maybe throw Ooh. me some. Which ones that you think are the best, and maybe you guys think. Of okay, some. I'm not going to do very well. Because you don't like you don't like scary no, movies. Don't. See, that's the, the hardest part. So we'll find that out <laughs> next week. Outstanding. Good job, you Cinemaniac. Oh, you go, and go Royals. Go Royals. <laughs> I had to sneak that in. 